Okay, here we go. Hockey Pond Update 2010. Last year I said that uh, I waited too long and that ruined my chances for an easy fill. And we're supposed to get a lot of rain tomorrow, so I decided to lay out the liner and capture all the rain. What I'm doing right now, though, is taking some of my own advice from last year and I'm filling it up with the water from my swimming pool and we needed to get the water down anyways because of the uh, freezing to get it below the skimmer line so I'm taking six inches of water out of the pool putting it into the pond also last year my blue line peeled up because I put down a layer of ice and then put down my blue line and then put down more ice and all that did was absorb sunlight warm up and then burn off and peel so this time I taped it right to the plastic before I even started to fill up we also put boards up this year and uh, all this was just leftover construction material from other projects so I just put it all to good use even the lights are up so the only thing left to do now is fill it up and wait for some good freezing weather In case you want to know the dimensions, it's 40 wide and 60 long. This is just a sheet of plastic from NiceRink.com. And 2x6 uh, pine rebar to hold it up. A lot of water already. It's only been filling for 15 minutes. If you're doing your own hockey pond, one thing to keep in mind is you really want to start with the most level, perfect surface that you can because you really only need two inches of ice. If you can get two inches of ice to freeze, you can skate. If you have to fill up six inches of ice on one low corner just to have one inch of ice on a high corner, it takes longer for it to freeze, it's harder to maintain and it uses a lot more water so this year I did a lot of leveling that I didn't have last year and that really helped all of my work this year was done in prep last year all my work was actually trying to make the surface nice because it was not level underneath so that's it burning daylight so I'm gonna turn this off and Post an update when we get some uh, good freezing weather. Thanks for watching.